Amazon Care is a telehealth service developed by multinational tech company, Amazon. You may have heard of them. According to a press release issued by the company, Amazon Care is designed to provide convenient medical assistance and expertise to millions of patients in the US. The service first launched in fall of 2019 as a workplace benefit for Seattle-based Amazon employees and their families. Now, Amazon announced that Amazon Care is going to be available for Amazon employees in all 50 states. With this in mind, Amazon Care's national rollout also includes plans to expand the virtual care service to other companies across the country. Amazon Care consists of really two components. The first is virtual care. Patients connect with medical professionals using the Amazon Care app to identify services that users may need. And also in-person care. Patients receive care from medical professionals, such as blood draws, testing, and other routine procedures that require the physical presence of a nurse or doctor. Users begin every interaction, though, on the Amazon Care app, whether it's virtual or in person. Users are prompted with several options that direct them towards the appropriate provider or service, available by web chat or video conference. And Amazon Care services include things like uh, preventive care for screenings, immunizations, and illness prevention, lifestyle and wellness assistance, ongoing care for chronic conditions and treatment, joint care for back, neck, knee, and shoulder pain, and sleep care for improved rest. According to Amazon Care's own website, Care Medical's healthcare services aren't billed to a user's health insurance provider. Any costs incurred through Care Medical don't count towards the patient's deductible. In some cases, such as when a patient refills their prescription, pharmacies will bill the person's insurance provider directly. It's important to remember that Amazon Care's services are included as an employee benefit for current Amazon employees. And when the service is rolled out to more companies later in 2021, Organizations that decide to offer Amazon Care are going to probably do it in addition to their existing healthcare plans. Right now, employers can sign up to learn more about the service as it's rolled out across the country. Bernie Portal did just that, and we received a message that we'd be contacted by a sales rep within three days. Unfortunately, we never heard back from them. Maybe they'll reach out to us at a later date. In fact, we think that the rollout of Amazon Care signals another healthcare disruption that could usher in more major changes in the near future. We've identified three main ways Amazon Care could make this happen. They include more tech companies entering the healthcare space, and also more medical touch points, and finally, more personalized usage of health information. In other words, Amazon Care knows you well and offers customized solutions to help fix what's giving you trouble. We should, at the very least, anticipate changes to Amazon Care in the coming months and years. It's entirely possible that this rollout is simply laying the groundwork for a broader network of healthcare services in the future. And the best news of all, Bernie Portal is here to help. Our blog is constantly being updated with the latest news and industry trends. I've added the link to our blog as a resource in the episode description. Other than that, I encourage you to sign up to learn more about this service. It may not be right for your team right now, but it never hurts to know what's going on in the industry, particularly given how directly benefits impact your own organization. Remember, your job is as strategic as you make it.